This is the second generation of Nothing Phone. It is still with a fascinating lighting backboard, but with a more rounded edge, the grip feeling has become better. The virus decoration plates create different layers. And here's a switch that looks like the one on iPhone, but unfortunately, it is not functional. The glyph interface is the most noticeable change on this phone. The light bars are now divided into many, and you are able to keep the lights on all time. I would prefer to turn on the light bar rather than the flashlight because they are more soft. Dancing in the crowns of a music festival, those light bars would make you so special for sure. And it is not just even now the dazzling light. This light bar could also be your dynamic island on nothing phone. Set a timer, or indicating the battery, or even shows how far is your ride. The bottom bar shows you the charging process and adds the visual feedback of a Google Assistant. The circle bar will light up when you do the reverse charge. And just like before, it blanks when the ring terms and notifications comes in, which is pretty garish. Moreover, if you're not satisfied with the ring terms, you can create a short rhythm of yourself. But I don't expect how wonderful it will be since I'm not a musician. Except the sound and lighting system, we need to talk about the most important part of the phone. This is nothing OS 2.0, which is still pixel style. Black and white is the basic color and decorated with a little red. The time and weather icon has a very well matched design, but on the third party apps, they are no longer satisfies me with the nothing style. The virus icon shapes are forcibly turned into black and white and trapped inside a white circle. It is either not beautiful or recognizable. I need to spend a long time to identify the dating apps even. But you can still change the theme style after all. Now move on to the camera configuration. One 1X and one 0.6X camera and they are not to pump out. By cropping picture, you can still have 2X image. I like the style of this color. It is not so plain like the previous one. It is a bit like straight out style from the Canon digital camera. But it's a bit pity that it doesn't have the telephoto for such a good imaging style. Besides the surprises on imaging style, there is improvement on anti-shaking ability when shooting video as well. And I'm happy to record my daily life by using it. Beautiful! But the process of an imaging system cannot conceal its design flaws. First, it's slow shutter. It will be laggy time to time when you press the shutter continuously, and it's not friendly for capturing the moving objects. The time gap is too short for quick shooting 20 photos. Again, these are the work even my old iPhone XR could easily done. But not on this. Second, it's the something I hate the most. It always gets stuck at the first few seconds when taking the video. Then it's the strobing issue. In case of unclear lighting conditions, it not only captures the strobe, but even made it worse after optimization. That is the issue which normally occurred on the older phones. It is really hard to find a phone which has the same problem. Snapdragon Agent 1. That is enough for my day to use. It is running smoothly even for gaming tests. With the support of adaptive 120Hz refresh rate, it is operating nicely under most of the locations even when browsing the pages between the split windows. But it doesn't seem to have a good heat control, because there was one day which weather was just fine, I was using split windows on this phone, and all of a sudden the overheated sign occurred. 
but I didn't feel how hard it was. And there's something needs to be mentioned is, after run out of battery, this phone will not switch on automatically when you plug in the charger. But some people don't assume it as an issue though. Sometimes I can't wake up the screen, and it wasn't indicating the unlock zoom. Moreover, the fingerprint recognition zone is too low by considering the size of the phone. Compared to the previous version, we see many updates on this phone. But is it quantified to be called flagship? Personally speaking, I don't give a quid on that. I believe everybody have tried stonescaping. And I will use that as the analogy to express my feelings on this phone. Because every time when nothing launches their new product, it's like escape a stone. The Disney light bars and unique UI design language is the stone that stirs up the ripples. But how far it went is it depends on how strong the initial force is. No matter how thrilling the moment may be, it soon will all be the stones under the water. I was once attracted by its unique design language, and I do realize its progress by comparing the old and new. A smoother system, better photo taking, more useful customized light bars, but also more issues and flaws. I think anyone who would spend $700 for a Snapdragon aging one firm, they must be chasing the designs but not the cost performance of the product. But a design like on this, and the plus the problems we found, makes it not really worth buying like the first time it came out. Nothing from 2, Testv gives 5.75 points as the subjective overall score.